Good evening from the newsroom, the news for this uh, Monday, 20th of uh, November. Out of 1,892 road accidents uh, recorded so far this year, eight were fatal. The Principal Secretary for uh, Land Transport, Patrick André, shared these stat statistics during the launching ceremony of the Road Safety Week this morning. He said that this is less than the previous year, which had a total of 18 fatal road accidents. The theme chosen for this year is Let's Talk About Speed. Launching the Road Safety Week, the Minister for Transport, Anthony Dejac, said that the number of road accidents in the country is alarming. We must now consider adopting the safe system approach as other countries throughout the world are doing. Normally, the safe system approach would address the following strategic goals. Safe roads and roadsides to improve the protective quality of our roads and infrastructure. Safe speeds to reduce speeds to safe, appropriate levels for the road being used and the road users using them. Safe vehicles to enhance the safety features and roadworthiness of vehicles on the road. Safe road use to improve road user standards and behavior in line with the traffic legislation supported by enforcement. The Seychelles Defense Forces Week was officially launched today at the Coast Guard base at uh, Perseverance. It was in the presence of the Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, President Weaver Ronkalawan, Vice President Ahmed Afif, and several other military and police officers. President Ronkalawan thanked and congratulated the Defense Forces for all the successes achieved during the three years of his uh, presidential mandate, highlighting in particular the progress recorded in coastal surveillance and recruitment. Members of the National Assembly have approved the 2024 budget for the Ministry of Education. This amounts to just over 1 billion 348 million rupees. The 25 MNAs of the LDS voted in favor of this budget, and there were no votes against. In his introduction, the Minister of Education, Dr. Justin Valentin, announced that Perseverance Secondary School will not be transformed into a vocational and technical school. He also announced that for the moment, the Ministry of Education is not able to implement a new salary scale for teachers. The minister was answering a question from uh, Wallace Cosgrove from the United Seychelles Party. The minister responsible for fisheries, designated Minister Jean-François Ferrari, has sent a message to celebrate World Fisheries Day tomorrow, the 21st of November. He says the theme, Treasure of Our Oceans, with the motto, Harmony Beneath the Waves, Sustainability in Our Hands, is extremely important to our country. World Fisheries Day provides us with an opportunity to reflect on the vital role that our oceans play in our lives and to recognize the importance of sustainable fishing practices. Our fisheries sector, Minister Ferrari says, is not just an integral part of our daily lives, but it also contributes significantly to our economy. Fishing is not merely an occupation, it is a way of life for many of our citizens, providing them with livelihoods and sustenance. Through comprehensive policies, stringent regulations and international collaboration, we have made giant strides in ensuring that our fisheries remain sustainable. He encourages all Seychellois to take pride in our fisheries sector and its contributions to our nation. Let us commit to sustainable practices that will secure our ocean's treasures for generations to come, he says. He ends the message with, may our oceans continue to bless us with abundance and vitality. And the Seychelles Fishing Authority's CEO, Jan Robinson, has in his message said, that fisheries are the essence of the Seychelles culture and we celebrate the contribution on a daily basis in the nutritious food that fisheries provide and the livelihoods that they support. 
While the current generation benefits from the labor of our fishers, Dr. Robinson continues, fishing is a deep-rooted tradition that has underpinned every aspect of the history and growth of the nation. He says that significant investments made in recent years to modernize fish lending site infrastructure and bring more services to fishers and consumers are reflective of the vital role that ports play in our economic development as well as our culture. Traditions are of course important, he says, but we must strive to better connect fishers to consumers and ensure that fish can be marketed in a hygienic environment, promote the supply of quality produce and reduce the waste that is creating a burden for our waste management systems. The Chief Executive Officers of Air Seychelles and the Civil Aviation Authority, SCA, participated in the Wheelchair Challenge today. This is to be aware of difficulties encountered by people using a wheelchair and be in a better position to plan future developments at the airport services and infrastructure to facilitate the movement of people with disabilities. The two leaders in the aviation industry started their journey in a wheelchair from the drop-off point to the checking counter, immigration and boarding the plane. The organizers said that they are satisfied with the outcome of the activity. It was a very positive one. Not, not everything was um, bad at the airport and with their Seychelles. But there are a lot of improvements to make, which um, both the CEOs also admitted. Um, having sat in the wheelchairs and um, trying out the facilities, facilities like the bathroom, um, so they are they have promised to to make changes to to better that for the disabled. I wouldn't say they're far off from from international because everywhere around the world you have these um, problems and issues with with the disabled. So. In fact, maybe even better than O.R. Tambo Airport in Johannesburg, but yes, yeah, still improvements to make. The Ida Blue cruise ship made its comeback in the Seychelles after a three-year break. It arrived at the Victoria port yesterday evening from uh, Antalya, Turkey. There are about 2,200 passengers on board. Ida Blue is the seventh ship in its cruise line, Ida Cruises, a German cruise line. It has the capacity to carry around 2,500 passengers, along with 607 crew members. The passengers were welcomed by a live band performance whilst it is embarked. During their two-day stay, they will have the opportunity to tour the country. We come from Germany, from Frankfurt, and we decided to go to Seychelles because we went uh, six years ago, it was the first time at the Seychelles, and we found it was a very beautiful place, um, beautiful people. And we know today where we want to go because it was so beautiful last time. And we'll take a taxi and go to the same place to go snorkeling. It's, it's to make the same photos six years <laughs> after, <laughs> so we can. Yeah, yeah. This is your first time, Seychelles? Yes, Seychelles is my first time. I love it and I hope I see enough this day. We stayed in the other country, in another place. Okay. And now we stay two days here in Mahé. We uh, sleep on the ship, not in a hotel here. Now we go on ship to see the, the nice beaches from Seychelles. I hope they are very nice. I never see them. After leaving Port Victoria tomorrow night, Ida Blue will tour Mauritius and Madagascar before coming back to Seychelles on the 4th of next month. And with this, uh, we end this uh, news summary. We'll be back at 8 with the news in uh, Creole. Have a very pleasant evening.